you're not a victim. Actually, no one is a victim. It all depends on how they view the situation at hand. And being a victim negatively impacts your entire life. So don't be a victim. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what being a victim is. In fact, you probably know what it is yourself. Being a victim means that someone has done something to you that you could basically not change. They affected your life, there's nothing you could do about it, it's their fault that you're in the situation. You are a victim of the other person's actions. And the problem with this is, it's a very limiting mindset because it doesn't open any windows to solve being a victim. Let me give you an example. If you were going to ride your bike, and out of nowhere, this car just hits you and knocks you off your bike. There's two perspectives you could actually have, only two of them. One, you are a victim. The person run into you, he knocked you off your bike. There was nothing at all that you could do. The other perspective is that you were the reason that you got knocked off of your bike. Now, it sounds very bad, and you can think of other situations where this would be a terrible idea, but it's actually a really good idea. And the reason why is because now you can look at ways that you can actually prevent that from ever happening again. So you were the reason you got hit by a car. Why? Well, maybe you weren't paying attention. Maybe you weren't looking uh, left and right before you went across the road. Maybe you weren't listening. Maybe you need to get be, be more mindful, be more present. Maybe you need to improve your mental health or physical health. Maybe you need to not ride down that spot again. Maybe you need to be more aware of your surroundings when you go riding a bike. It actually allows you to improve your life and prevent this from happening again. So by not being a victim, you prevent yourself from ever being a victim to that situation ever again. And you also are able to learn from every single situation that happens. A victim mindset is a very bad mindset to have. It's very limiting, it stops you from being able to improve your life and prevent this thing from happening ever again. It stops you from learning. And learning is the key to solving problems, to fixing mistakes, to improving. Most people actually have a victim mindset. Whenever something happens to them in their life, they blame it on someone else. Not only does this cause negative effects in their own mind, but it also stops them from learning. And if they can't learn, they can never fix the problem at hand. You hear this all the time where people will be like, oh my, you know, I got hit by a car while I was riding my bike. It's the person's fault. But I'm not gonna do anything at all to try and prevent that from ever happening again. In fact, I'm either one, going to sit at home and complain about it happening and not move on, or two, I'm gonna do the exact same thing again without actually learning from my mistakes. And when it happens to them a second time, they go, oh, why does it keep happening? Well, it's because you didn't learn. If you were to learn, you'd be able to prevent stuff from like this from happening again. You'd be able to improve. You can only improve from either going out and researching something and learning something, or you can improve from your mistakes. And if you never accept that you ever made a mistake, it was the other person's mistake, not yours, you can never actually improve and learn from that mistake. So by taking full responsibility of every single thing that happens in your life, every situation that you're in, if you take full responsibility, no matter how bad it is, even if it's like, you know, your dog gets run over, you have to take full responsibility that it was your fault your dog got run over. Because by doing this, you can then prevent something like this from happening again, or at least learn a lesson which will help you to improve your life and to actually grow as a person. How do you actually stop being a victim? Well, it's very simple. You take full responsibility, like I just said, for everything that happens in your life. If your dog gets run over, if you get hit by a car, it's your fault and your fault only. Now, don't take full responsibility in the way of you take the responsibility that your dog got run over and then you cry and complain because, oh, it's your fault the dog got run over. Don't feel bad for yourself. Okay, don't feel sorry for yourself because that's not helping you in any way. The only thing you can do is push forward and improve your life or try and prevent this from ever happening again. And the only way you can really do that is by learning from your mistakes. So take full responsibility, be more mindful, improve your mental health and physical health, which you've probably done, and this will help you to stop being a victim. And the most easy way that I would say that you can make sure you never be a victim again is just to be mindful of when you are a victim and to stop before you actually 
continue being a victim. So to be mindful and do not become a victim again because it limits your life and it negatively impacts everyone around you and you don't want that do you? So I hope that this video helps someone out there and check out my tribe of like-minded people dedicated to self-improvement and improving their lives. I have a link to that in the description. It's completely free. I highly recommend you join as well as sign up for my free newsletter where I'll send you promotional stuff as well as valuable tips daily on stuff that I'm learning. So you'll get first insights on the information that I am learning before I even bother to upload a video to YouTube. So I highly recommend you join my newsletter, you join my tribe, and keep up the good work. Peace out. Have a nice day.